My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Arachir Galadirth, and head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer, and welcome to today's slightly different video. There usually is a lore video today, but that will be next week. Today we're going to go through the results of the top five and bottom five faction vote recently held on the Discord, whereby everyone was able to vote for their favourite three nations and their least favourite nations. Those were the only parameters, so there is of course some suggestion people may have voted, uh, downvoted factions because they dislike playing against them rather than playing as them, but that is not the problem. We just wanted a general feel for which factions are beloved and which factions are hated. There are two different lists really if we take the raw votes versus the percentages. So today I'm going to give you, this list is presented as the percentages, so that is if a hundred people voted for a faction and 50 liked it and 50 disliked it, that is not a loved faction. If a hundred people voted for a faction and 99 liked it and one disliked it, that is a very, very liked faction. Regardless of the fact that the one that got 50 votes may well have been the fifth most popular if you did it on raw um, numbers alone. So today, as I say, we'll deal with the percentages, and then at the end I will run through with you the ones that did win if we did it just on pure votes alone. I've also compiled all the data into a lovely Excel spreadsheet, um, and that will be shown at the end of the video. And you can download it as well if you fancy, and have a look yourself. Um, also, just finally, on the Discord, as this video goes live, we're also... Sh today, there will be some threads put up that are asking why people particularly liked certain factions and why they particularly disliked certain factions. It is not a suggestion thread, it is purely a go to Discord and say, I downvoted Dunland because I think Dunland is boring because of this, or I really dislike this feature of them, or for example, I voted for Dol Amroth because I really like this, or I really like that. So um, please do go to Discord and expand upon what you voted upon. But without any further ado, let's dive in. So the top five will come first, and we'll start with the fifth position. So with 87% of the votes cast against them in their favour is Gondor. Gondor are a loved faction, and that is not surprising to us at all. Everybody likes playing as Gondor. They receive a lot of love in the films, and I think that's a big factor. Uh, Gondor's raw vote tallies were 594 upvotes and 91 downvotes, with a total of 685 votes cast altogether, and as I say, 87% um, upvote ratio there. So not surprising at all that Gondor takes number five. Coming in at number four, slightly more surprising, but I'm absolutely thrilled to say that it is Dorwinian, with again 87%. Now, I did round on Excel, I made sure it didn't do any decimal places, so they are in the order that they came in, but the differences between these ones on 87% is, is very, very minor. But Dorwinian takes the next spot. Now, this is where it gets interesting straight away, because Dorwinian only had 383 upvotes compared to Gondor's 594, but comparatively to the number of people that voted for Dorwinian, with only 58 down votes, it has a slightly better percentage in terms of who likes it. I'm thrilled that Dorwinian are in the top spot, and to be honest, I don't find this surprising either because of replayability. Because you can choose to either play as the Northmen or the Elves, it gives Dorwinian um, a different playthrough each time. And also, because they're a completely fan-made faction, um, there's an air of intrigue about Dorwinian, I think, where people come and say, Oh, Dorwinian, I've not seen or heard of them, I wonder what that is about. So that's number four, and coming in at number three, this one again was a surprise to me to be honest, I didn't realise they were liked as much as they are, and it is the Dwarves of Erebor. Now, they didn't have a very high vote tally at all, but their percent again is 87, but at the higher end of 87, hence why they beat the other two. 302 upvotes and 44 downvotes, so very, very liked. Now, fun fact actually, Erebor are the least downvoted nation in the entire poll, so they got the lowest number of downvotes out of all the nations listed today. So if we were to do the results on um, the, the least disliked, if I could say that, Erebor would have been number one, which I find quite entertaining. Uh, but it, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. People like playing as heavy infantry or as elite nations. And Erebor, of course, received a lot of attention in the Hobbit films. And I think that's why they are there. So then we move on to number two, and it is the High Elves. And now we're into higher upvotes as well. The High Elves had 574 um, upvotes with only 68 down, giving them an 89% like 
um, percentage. So really, really beloved. Um, which I actually do again find surprising. Sorry, I found almost all of these surprising. This has been such an eye-opener for me. But I can't believe the High Elves are that liked. Um, many people were up in arms when we merged the High Elves together, and yet they've actually come out as one of the most popular factions in the game. Now it could well be because I think, and I think many people do, they have quite possibly the best looking roster in the whole mod. The quality of the units for the High Elves is insane, um, and they really stand out as the best looking faction. And I think that draws a lot of people to them. Obviously as well, the High Elves, if, if anybody that's read the, the wider lore, if anybody has delved into the Silmarillion, the High Elves are the subject of the Silmarillion, with humans only playing a secondary part, to my mind. Uh, and I think a lot of people like to re relive those glory days. So the High Elves are number two. Now before we move on to number one, I'll just go through six and seven because they were damned close. And it is the Ar Ardenaim with 86% in sixth and Lothlorien with 85% in seventh. Now Lothlorien was again very surprising and not actually very many votes were cast for Lothlorien. But their ratio was very good. So 293 up votes and 50 down votes, giving them 85%. And the Ar Ardenaim having 592 up votes. So really up there as one of the very loved factions. But also 94 down votes. So, um, and only an 86%. Ardenaim does not surprise me at all that they're popular. People absolutely love the fact that you can start where you like and you can play how you like. Also, everybody loves Numenor and um, the Ardenaim harken back to that. And also, if I may say, their roster looks, again, fantastic. And you get a real uh, sort of Roman vibe from the Ardenaim. It's, they're a good nation to play. Lothlorien, I'm a little more surprised at, but actually, not very many votes were cast for them. So, the ratio in this one maybe doesn't tell the best story because, in terms of raw, votes they're way 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 down the list um, in terms of raw votes they were 11th um, most popular so it tallies up a little differently now before we move on to the bottom five I will run through the top five in terms of upvotes but the um, video won't correspond to what I'm saying now this is just for information um, and then we'll deal with the top um, the absolute top nation so in terms of raw upvotes in seventh place was Khazad-dum with 381 Dorwinian was then 6th with 383, so again making the list. Dol Amroth was actually 5th in terms of highest votes with 397, but unfortunately they had an 81% upvote ratio, so they don't claim a place on the real list. Uh, the High Elves again in the top 5 with 574 votes. Uh, the Arad and Iam were 3rd with 592, and then Gondor was 2nd with 594. So again, we're seeing the same sorts of characters here, except Dol Amroth isn't in the percentage list and Lothlorien isn't in the upvoted list. Um, Lothlorien's slot taken by khazad and um, obviously Dol Amroth have pushed Erebor out in terms of raw upvotes. But that brings us to the undisputed number one, the nation that got the most upvotes and the highest percentage, absolutely beloved of all the factions, are the Dúnedain. They had 95% upvote ratio and they had 916 upvotes. That is outrageous. Gondor was second in upvotes with 594. So they're almost, they're over 300 upvotes higher than anybody near them. They only had 49 downvotes, which is the second lowest on the tally. They are undisputed the most popular faction in Divide and Conquer, which is why we constantly get people asking for reforging Arnor, because everybody and their dog wants to play as the Dúnedain. Um, now, the Dúnedain used to be really, really hard, so I find it quite interesting that they are massively upvoted, because generally speaking, harder factions, or the factions that more casual players like myself would consider hard, generally they don't become your favourite. Nobody likes playing as them because you, they're difficult to win as. Whereas, so maybe the Dunedain are easier than they once were, or perhaps people just love the lore so much. They want to revive this fallen kingdom so much they are willing to look past the fact that the campaign is a bit challenging. So there we are, the undisputed winner, I've said that three times, the Dunedain. And then we move on, sadly, 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 um, sadly for me, because one of these was my favourite. We move on to the bottom five in percentages. Now, we have the similar situation here. The actual downvote list is slightly different, but we've got the same characters appearing in the downvote, top downvotes, and the um, percentage as well. So starting us off at number five, I'm rather um, venerated, uh, not venerated, vindicated to say that at number five is canned. Canned had 146 upvotes, but 474 downvotes, giving them 
a 24% upvote ratio, or it's probably better to do it the other way around, a 76% hated um, percentage. So not beloved at all. Now that is actually quite a lot of upvotes, um, so there's nothing to, to knock there, but with an overwhelming um, downvote percentage. But Kanda, one of the few that actually do have... Um, quite a few upvotes in their favour on this bottom list. They're, they're, they're one of the more liked ones at the bottom, hence why they're number five. Moving on to number four, and all of these surprise me, I have to say. Apart from the winner, I am genuinely surprised by everything that follows, so I won't say it again. But at number four is the Vale of Anduin. Uh, the Anduin had 99 upvotes with 393 downvotes, giving them an 80% hated ratio. Um, or 80% hated uh, result. Now again, 99 upvotes isn't that bad. If you compare that with the downvotes of the top nations, it's much better. Um, for example, the High Elves having 68 downvotes and Erebor having only 44 downvotes. And the reverse in this instance, obviously, Anduin having 99 upvotes. That's a much, much better. But still, with 393 down, it is unfortunately not their day. They are not liked at all. So we move on to number three then, and again, I just can't believe it. It's Ened Wyth. Now, Ened Wyth is one of my favourite nations, um, so I'm very disappointed to see them here. They had 130 upvotes, so again, not a bad showing, but 662 people said they disliked Ened Wyth, which gave them 84% in favour of dislike, which is just so sad to see. And that's one that I'm really interested in. Why do people dislike Ened Wyth? What it is about them that really doesn't get people going? Because Ened Wyth have a lot of similar features to the Yard of Nime, in that you can fight whoever you want, you you, all right, you can't move anywhere you want, but you've got enough people around you to change up each different playthrough. You're an underdog story, which people often do quite like. You've got to go up against the likes of Isengard and the High Elves, who both outclass you, and you have to use your ambush ability and your javelins to take the enemy down. But still absolutely hated. 662, that is, we're on the third position, and we already have more downvotes than the second position in the upvotes of the other list. Um, Ened Wyth really are not liked, so 84% sadly. Very disappointing to see, but Ened Wyth are not alone. Their brothers in arms take up position number two because their kinsmen, the Dunlendings, are at number two. Now it has to be said, less overall votes were cast for Dunland. They had 626 total votes as opposed to Ened Wyth's 792. But Dunland only had a 73 upvotes, which is half that of Ened Wyth but with 553 downvotes. So less total downvotes, but less likes as well. Gave them an 88% um, dislike ratio. So very, very disliked. And I should imagine that Ened Wyth and Dunland are disliked for the same reasons. And what they are, I'd be very interested to learn. So as I said at the beginning, head over to the Discord, find the top five and bottom five thread, type out why you disliked one of these nations. And let us know. Now, um, again, in terms of percentages, the honourable mentions, or uh, dishonourable, that's a watch mojo thing, isn't it? Sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Dishonourable thing, before we get to number one. Um, in sixth place, and then also in seventh place, with the same percentage, so only very minor change, is Harad and Dol Guldur, both having 76%. So Harad had 121 likes which again isn't too bad, but 376 dislikes. So not a massive um, voting cast at all, only 497 total votes cast, but that does give them a 76% dislike ratio. Dolgaldor had only 332 votes cast, and 81 of them were in favour, and 251 of them were not. Uh, which gave them uh, also that 76% dislike. But again, Dol Guldur only really just clasping it, because not very many votes were cast for them at all, really. Um, of course, if only one downvote was cast for a faction and no upvotes, they'd have a 100% dislike ratio. So you do have to take it with a pinch of salt. But again, it is just giving us an idea of which nations are disliked. And before we move on to the undisputed, almost undisputed um, number one, we'll look at who, where they came in terms of actual just raw downvotes. So in seventh place in terms of just downvotes was Harad with 376. In sixth place with 390 downvotes was Mordor, not a liked faction at all. But Mordor had 130 upvotes, which pushed them just outside the percentage list. In fact, they were the next ones on the percentage list. <laughs> they would have been eight. 
Um, in fifth place in downvotes again. Now this this list is just the list we've heard, but in a reverse order. It's not like the upvotes where we have some shocks. Uh, so the fifth in terms of raw downvotes was Andwin with 393, Cand in fourth with 474, and Dunland in third with 553. So the um, the first and second though are different. So we will go to the number one most disliked nation in terms of the percentage and the dislikes to like ratio is Moria. Moria had 703 votes cast for them, which is the third highest vote tally cast for any nation, only being beaten by Enid White who had 792 and the Dunedain who had 965. Uh, and 644 of those 703 votes were dislikes for Moria. They had a 92% dislike ratio, which is just insane. They are uh, almost as hated as the Dunedain are loved. Uh, 59 people, though, did say that they liked Moria, but 59 out of 703, that's oh, that's so low. And and as, you, as I've just proven, something that is really quite outstanding is that the Dunedain had the most total votes cast for them and obviously almost all of them were in favour and the next two most most, most cast votes were for Enid White and Moria who were both absolutely hated and loathed. So people dislike Enid White and Moria as much as they like the Dunedain which is crazy. Now one of the theories that I have on this is that the Dunedain fight against Moria a lot. The beginning of their campaign is almost like a long slog against Moria. And so many of you have said you love the Dunedain, and I think there's probably an inherent knee-jerk reaction to then downvote Moria because you hate fighting against them. And that is my current theory, that Moria, whilst Moria are probably disliked, because they are one of the most bland factions in the game, um, and I happily hold my hands up and say that, I personally loathe them, I downvoted them, um, the Dunedain are so well loved, I think that's flooded into how much Moria's hated because you fight against them so much as the Dunedain. Uh, and I think that's the reason why. But in terms of raw upvotes, Enidwyth actually would have been first. So Enidwyth had 662 downvotes and Moria had 644. So in raw numbers, Enidwyth were hated more, but more people said they actually liked Enidwyth than did Moria. So that's why Moria take the top spot, the most hated faction. Now, there are a lot of surprises in there for me. Um, something that I did just want to mention, the only two nations in the entire game that were actually close, and by that I mean they had 50%, 50%, and 51%, and 49% in terms of the ratios, were Gundabad and Ered Lewin, respectively. So, as many people like and dislike Gundabad and Ered Lewin, um, which I think is really interesting, they're the only two that were actually split down the middle in opinion. Everyone else is weighted one way or the other quite substantially. No one else is as close as those two, because they're as close as can be, 50-50. So I found that very, very interesting indeed. Um, outside of that, though, there aren't really any outliers. Um, the only other interesting points to pull away in the Excel spreadsheet, it's probably on the screen now, is that Isengard were the most liked evil nation after the Ardenaim. But the Ardenaim go either way, so I don't think they, they really count. But Isengard are the most liked, dedicated evil nation, with 343 upvotes versus 66 down. They had an 84% percentage, which put them just outside the top spot. They were 7th. Um, in the percentage listing. Um, well, they were joint in there with, with Lothlorien. Um, who were... No, sorry, I'm, it's because of the lines I haven't lined up. They were eight. They were eight, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at the spreadsheet while I'm doing this. And normally I do lines going across, but they get in the way with the greens and the reds, so I didn't do them. So it makes it a little harder to read. But that was the only real outlier. Um, as far as the team's concerned, we're quite surprised that Bree is disliked as much as it is. We thought people might like Bree. But then again, with so many of you liking the Dunedain, Bree probably just get in the way, and that has probably tarnished your view of them a little. Also, do note that 7,341 upvotes were were cast and only 5,583 down votes were cast. Given that everybody should have voted for three nations each and therefore those numbers should be even, uh, obviously many more of you l either voted more than three times for factions that you liked or you simply didn't downvote anyone because maybe you just didn't dislike anyone, you just only liked people. And that's fair enough. Again, we were only getting an idea. We weren't looking for um, a definitive guide or anything like that. 
But that is going to do it for this video then. So as I say, head over to the Discord, let us know why you particularly dislike the factions that are in the bottom five here. I'm not interested why you dislike Dale, for example. I'm only interested in why do you dislike the nations who made that bottom five. Moria, Dunland, Enidwife, Anduin and Cand. And in the reverse, why do you like particularly Gondor, Darwinian, Erebor, High Elves and Dúnedain. What makes those nations stand out for good and for worse or for ill? But until we speak again, dear friends, I do hope that you've enjoyed this little video and I hope my panning over the units wasn't too jarring. I tried to slow down and stop as much as I could, but um, it might have been a bit bleep for some people. But until we speak again, Navahar and Adén Perimad Melonin and farewell.